The first exercise we have here, Rob is demonstrating ski instructor squats. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you be his ski instructor. Okay. You're gonna raise your arm and every time you raise your arm, he has to do a jump. Oh, right now no. he's doing pulses, he's working his thighs. This is an excellent exercise. You can do anywhere if you wanna work and improve on your skiing. What do we make sure we don't do to avoid injury here? So you wanna keep the knees back, so you're pushing your hips back, so your knees aren't going too far past the toes. This takes advantage of Olympic training principle number one. Okay. Always have a coach. He's gonna be watching you, you're his coach. I got this. Every Olympic nice. athlete has a coach. If you wanna look and feel your best <laughs> in fitness, you should have a fitness coach. If you wanna be your best at swimming, a swim coach, it just makes sense. So how do I flag him to do the intensity? Just raise your arm up. Raise your arm up. Go. There you go. Higher. Go. There you go. You got oh him again. God, See? He's Thank good. You. He's a good listener. Our okay, next exercise over here, Dina, this is the Quachi <laughs> Core Relay. Quachi is the mascot for the Olympics in 2010. So if you're at home and you, and you want to get your kids involved in fitness, it's best to incorporate a toy. Make it fun. You'll be laughing and working your abs. You'll be working your abs with the exercise. Firm up in the midsection. We have uh, Mike and his son Chris here working out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> not father, son. But... Uh, that's so you, inter you interlock the legs so to yeah, support the one ankles, another. The feet are wrapped behind the lower leg. And this is incorporating Olympic training principle number two, teamwork. You're always going to work harder when someone's depending on you. Yes. People will always push themselves more if it means letting somebody down. Nobody wants to let anybody down. That's why fitness trainers work so well, workout partners, working out in a group class, all those things work so well. 30 to 60 seconds. Great job, That's guys. It. Keep up the good work, guys. Here we have... Here we have Alicia, she's doing speed skaters. Now, this, this is taking advantage of Olympic training principle number three. You wanna train the movement, not the muscles. We don't wanna be doing muscle isolation if you wanna be fit for sport. All the muscles must work together as a team, getting everything working. That's now, the, the key with this is you don't need fancy gym equipment. Anybody can do these movements at home as long as you know what to do. Absolutely. It's very easy to apply. And back last but here, not least. Back here we have Holly, she's doing past the rock push-ups. This is a tribute to my buddy John Morris on the Canadian Olympic curling team. Go so John! If you're at home and you want to do this exercise, we're using a medicine ball, but if you're at home, you can use a basketball, you can use a soccer ball, slam dunk some body fat, work on your fitness, all at the same time. This now, is advanced though. That is, that is advanced, she's using excellent form. It's always good to get coaching on proper form, otherwise you can become a champion of bad form and injury rather than an ah. Olympic champion, as she's becoming today. Now we're gonna take advantage of uh, competition, just to bring up the okay. intensity here. We're gonna do a little bit of a competition to make things fun for everybody. Okay, while well you do that, go for it. Medcan.com slash fitness jump. Ready, jump for more twist. information right on now, Brendan right or Three, foxfitness.ca. Go. 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 First go. person to eight wins. First person to eight Woo! wins. I give you all gold medals in my eyes. Well done, everybody, Raise right your now. Arms when you're done. Speaking of fitness, and Jen's doing here. it in the water. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah.